Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Nidia Velasquez, who is the representative for the 7th District of New York. And this district seems to touch between uh, Brooklyn and Queens in that area there. So, she is a Democrat, and before she took office, she was preceded in office by Stephen Solars. Now, let's go ahead and look at who she was, who she is, I should say, as an individual. She was born in Yab Yabucoa, Puerto Rico on March the 28th, 1953. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Puerto Rico in Rio Piedras in 1974. Earned a Master's of Arts from New York University in New York, New York in 1976. Faculty member for the University of Puerto Rico in Humacao, Puerto Rico in 1976 to 1981. Was an adjunct professor at Hunter College for the City University of New York, New York 1981 to 1983, staff member for U.S. Representative Adolphus Towns of New York in 1983, member of the New York, New York City Council, 1984, was the National Director for the Migration Division Office of Puerto Rico Department of Labor and Human Resources, 1986 to 1989. Um, was Director of the Department of Puerto Rico Community Affairs in the U United States for the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, 1989 to 1992, before being elected as a Democrat to the 103rd and 15 following Congresses. So she's in term 16, year B32. Now, let's go ahead and look at the uh, committees. She is on. I could not remember the word for the life of me for some reason. She is on the Committee on Financial Services, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Financial Institutions and Monetary Policy and the Subcommittee on Housing and Insurance. She's on the Committee on Natural Resources, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Energy and Mineral Resources, and the Subcommittee on Indian and Insular Affairs. And she's on the Committee on Small Business. Now, let's go ahead and look at the uh, her top five industry donors over her career. At the top, we have Securities and Investment, who have donated $671,537. Next is Lawyers and Law Firms at $601,437. Next is Real Estate, who have donated $529,602. Next is Commercial Banks, who have donated $457,586. And finally, in fifth, we have Public Sector Unions, who altogether have donated $446,000.
Now let's go ahead and look at our top five individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number one, the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. The AFSCME is what they are sometimes just stylized as. They are the largest trade union of public employees in the U.S. and represents 1.3 million public sector employees and retirees, including health care workers, corrections officers, sanitation workers, police officers, firefighters, and child care providers. It was founded in Madison, Wisconsin in 1932 and is part of the AFL-CIO, one of the two main labor federations in the United States and has only had four presidents since its founding. It is a union that is known for involvement in political campaigns almost exclusively with the Democratic Party and was one of the first groups to take advantage of the 2010 Citizens United decision which allowed unions and corporations to directly finance ads that expressly call for the election and defeat of a candidate. Major political issues of the AFSCME include single-payer health care, protecting pension benefits, increasing the minimum wage, preventing the privatization of government jobs, and expanding unemployment benefits. The AFSCME is divided into approximately 3,400 local unions in 46 U.S. states plus the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. Don't much care for Citizens United, uh, but its actual issues that it pushes for are great. So, altogether, it has donated $139,000. Thousand dollars, and once again, that's the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. Next, at number two, we have the Service Employees International Union, sometimes just stylized the SEIU. It is a labor union representing almost 1.9 million workers in over 100 occupations in the U.S. and Canada and is focused on organizing workers in three sectors. Healthcare, over half of the members work in the healthcare field, including hospital, home care, and nursing home workers. Public services, government employees, including law enforcement and property services, including janitors, security guards, and food service workers. It has over 150 local branches and is affiliated with the Strategic Organizing Center and the Canadian Labor, Labor Congress. Its international headquarters is located in Washington, D.C. and is one of the largest unions in the country, and it is known for its strong support of Democratic candidates where it has spent $28 million supporting Barack Obama in the 2008 presidential election. In 2012, it was the top outside spender in Democratic campaigns, reporting almost seven, uh, $70 million of campaign, $70 million of campaign donations, television ads, and get out the vote efforts in support of President Obama and other Democrats. And it is a major supporter of the Affordable Care Act and increased minimum wage laws, including wage increases for fast food workers. The union is a primary backer of the fight for $15. Altogether, it has donated $133,500. And once again, that's the Service Employees International Union. Next, at number three, we have the Small Business Investor Alliance. They are headquartered in Washington, D.C. and are a 501c6 nonprofit organization 
that is the premier organization of lower middle market private equity funds and investors. So your smaller groups of securities and investment. Altogether, they have donated $115,000. And once again, that's the Small Business Investor Alliance. Next, at number four, we have National Association of Realtors. And they are an American trade association for those who work in the real estate industry. And that, as of December 2023, had over 1.5 million members, making it the largest trade association in the U.S., including its institute societies and councils involved in all aspects of the residential and commercial real estate industries. The organization holds a U.S. trademark over the term realtor and also functions as a self regulatory organization for real estate brokerage and is headquartered in Chicago and founded in 1907. Altogether, it has donated $109,250 and once again, that's the National Association of Realtors. And finally, in fifth, we have America's Credit Unions and it is a national trade association for both state and federally chartered credit unions located in the United States and was launched in 2024 as part of a merger between CUNA, the Credit Union National Association, and the National Association of Federally Insured Credit Associations, NAFCU. Once fully operational in 2025, uh, America's credit unions will provide its member credit unions with trade association services such as lobbying, regu regulatory advocacy, professional development, and professional services management. And the organization is headquartered in Washington, D.C. Altogether, it has donated $109,000. And once again, that's America's credit unions. Let's look at our donors at a glance, industry-wise. Securities and investment, ooh. Lawyers and law firms, uh. Real estate, uh. Commercial banks, ooh. Public sector unions, absolutely wonderful. Individually. American Federation of State, County, Municipal Employees, absolutely wonderful. Service Employees International Union, absolutely wonderful. Small Business Investor Alliance, while it isn't the big investors and er, securities in exchange, it's still, so I give it a uh, National Association of Builders. Uh, okay. Not the best real estate still kind of an iffy thing for me and love credit unions America's credit union absolutely wonderful so yeah uh, industry wise not great individually hey it's fine that's fine but yeah this has been a look at representative Nidia Velasquez, who is the representative for the 7th District of New York. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, Later.